you do that? Castell and Cameron almost died last year after developing invasive Group A streptococcus, or eye gas. If I had hesitated one more day, my son wouldn't be here, and they said that. Overnight, the three-year-old's fever turned into sepsis and a month-long hospital stay. They lost the ability to walk, so we had to like reteach him how to walk. The Public Health Agency of Canada says confirmed cases in 2023 have reached a new high at more than 5,200. And B.C., Manitoba, Ontario, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia are all reporting elevated numbers this year. We thought she would get better and come home. Sammy Ann Meta Ross's mother and stepfather died of the aggressive illness within hours of each other in a Nova Scotia hospital February 25th. They feel physicians didn't act quickly enough and there isn't enough awareness. I don't think they realized how serious it was either. Not that they didn't do what they could for the knowledge that they had, but I just don't think the knowledge was out there enough. Symptoms progress rapidly and include persistent high fever, severe pain, swelling and redness, a quickly spreading rash, dizziness and confusion, and nausea and or vomiting. Antibiotics can treat eye gas. Health officials stress deaths are rare, but in January, the BC Centre for Disease Control said invasive Group A strep killed four children. And eye gas killed 10 people in Nova Scotia the first two months of this year, including six-year-old Jaden Davis. The increase in kids is higher than the increase in adults. Dr. Allison McGeer says it's largely unknown why some cases turn deadly, and best prevention would be a vaccine if there was one. It's been harder to make a vaccine, um, and we're not, I don't think, going to be able to solve this problem until we get vaccines for group strep. If you're concerned, go to the hospital. Advice from families and medical experts alike. The infection's rapidly progressing symptoms mean minutes count. Heidi Petrachik, Global News, Halifax.